Hello guys, we are back with another interview problem uh, that is uh, given a two-dimensional array uh, print all the paths from top left to the bottom right. Okay, so for example, this is the 2D array which is given to us and uh, we have to print all the paths, all the possible paths from top left corner to the bottom right corner. Okay, so as we can see, there can be multiple paths um, like this or uh, like this or like this. So we need to print all the possible paths. Okay. Okay, and we are allowed to travel only in two directions. That is right side and down. Okay, so from any cell, you're allowed to go either in right direction or down. So let's see how we are going to solve this. So we are going to solve this using recursion. Okay, so let's say we'll have a function called print and that will take parameter as row and column. Okay, so so this function will print all the possible paths from this row and this column to the last cell, the bottom right corner, okay? So let's say if you pass, uh, so this is 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, right? So this is, this cell is uh, 1, 2. So if you pass one comma two, it will print eight and nine. Okay, so all the possible paths from this cell to the last cell. So there's only one path possible, which is eight nine. So if you pass, uh, let's say if you pass one comma one, which is this, so it will print five, six, nine, and five, eight, nine. Okay, so this is the recursive function we are going to implement. So we'll start with zero comma zero because our starting cell is zero comma zero. And we have to go till two comma two here, right? As we know that from each cell, we can travel in two directions. We can go to right or we can go down. Okay, so we are starting with 0, 0, which is 1, right? Now we can go to 2 or 4. Now from 4, we can go to 3 or 5. So 3, 5. From 5, we can go to 6 or 8. So 6, 8. Now from 3, we can go only to 6 because there is nothing here. So we'll go to 6. And from 6, we can go to 9. 6, 9, 8, 9. This is the final destination. So from 4, we can go to 5 and 7. So 5 and 7. Right, and again from five, we can go to six, eight, and then nine, nine. From seven, we can go only to eight, so eight and nine. So these are all the possible paths. So one, two, three, six, nine, one, two, five, six, nine, one, two, five, eight, nine, and so on. Right, so. <clears throat> In recursive function, we'll start with 0, 0, which is 1. Now, this is important. We'll have a variable called path, right? So this path will have all the cells which we have already traversed, okay? So we'll have one more parameter in our recursive function that is called path, okay? So when we are starting, the paths will have one, right? 
Now we'll make a recursive call to two and four, right? So here the print function would be, um, we are changing the, uh, when we are going right, we are incrementing the column. So here the row is zero, the column is one, and the path is one, right? And when we go to four, it will be one comma zero comma one, the path. Now from two, we'll make a recursive call to three and five. So which is um, zero comma two. So zero comma two. And now we'll add two to the path. So now the path is one comma two. Right. Similarly, from four, when we go to seven, right. So we'll add four to the path. So here we'll have one and four to the path. So you see, every time we are making a recursive call, we are adding the current cell to the path. So from um, from three, when we will go to six, the path will have one, two. 3 and when we are here from 3 to 6 the path will have 1 2 3 and 6 right and when we reach to the bottom right corner we'll add the final cell and print it right so 1 2 3 6 9 and that's it we'll print it so once we reach to 9 right we'll print it because this is our final destination. Similarly, uh, when from four, we'll make a recursive call to seven, we'll add four to the path. And from seven, when we go to eight, we'll add seven to the path, right? So this will be one, four, seven, and eight, nine, right? So let's go back to the problem and uh, so let's read out the approach to understand it better. Uh, recursion is the key here, right? Take the row count and the column count. Say it's row count. That's a variable and the call count. Take current row and current column as zeros and zero because we are starting from zero comma zero here right so that is our current row and the path currently is nothing right and this is our recursive function print all so it's taking parameter current row current column and the path right add zero um add zero comma zero to the path right we are starting from here, so we'll add one to the path. Okay, now make a recursive call, right? So row plus one, that means this is going down and column plus one, go right. Okay, so the two directions are possible. Go down and go right. And the two base cases, okay? So, in recursion, uh, the most important thing is base cases, right? Where our recursive calls will stop, okay? So here the base case is when the current row becomes the last row, right? When current row becomes the last row, that means once you are here, right? You cannot, there is only one direction you can go. You can go towards right. So no need to make any recursive call, just add all the columns to the path, right? So base case one, when the current row becomes the last row, print rest of the column and return. And the second base case is uh, when current column becomes the last column, right? So once you are here, you cannot um, go in the right directions. 
the only direction you can go is down right so just print rest of the rows so these two are base cases wherever recursion will stop so this is the same example uh, and this is the uh, recursion tree uh, you can see that later so this is our code okay so this is our recursive function print all and uh, it takes three parameter current row current column and the path okay and uh, this is our 2d array 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, we are starting with 0 comma 0 and currently part path, path doesn't have anything okay so now let's see the recursive function so these two are base cases so once you reach to the last row add rest of the columns to the path and print it similarly once you reach to the last column print uh, add rest of the rows to the path and print it else add the current cell to the path right so current cell is current row and current column so the current cell to the path and make two recursive calls row plus one that is down and column plus one right make two recursive calls and pass the current path okay and these are the base cases where we'll print the path right so <clears throat> let's let's run this code right so we have one two three four five six so there are three paths possible one four five six one two five six and one two three six so we have only this 2d array so one two three six one two five six and one four five six only three paths so let's say if you modify the problem and say now you're allowed to travel diagonally as well right so from one you can go to two you can go to four and you can go to five as well right and now you have to print all the paths so um, how we'll do it? Rest of the code is going to be same, right? We'll add only one recursive call here. So row plus one, we are going down here. Column plus one, we are going our right direction here. And one more recursive call where we'll increment the row as well. So plus one and the column as well. So that means diagonal so if you are here we increment the row and increment the column that means here the diagonal direction so that's it uh, if if somebody modifies the problem and say you are allowed to travel diagonally as well we'll all we need to add is one recursive call okay so yeah this is how we'll solve this problem and uh, now we can mark this problem as completed i leave the link of this article in the description and yeah please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interesting interview problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye